Um, I have a few things written down that I could mention. Um, where's the camera face? <laughs> there. Uh, yeah, stand uh, in front of the screen. That's good. Thank you. Um, so yeah, a good amount of work in the past year has been focused on the design overhaul. Um, we're moving forward with that. We continued converting all of our old templates to React. Um, and we've made a lot of progress on that. Um, nonetheless, uh, things have been moving slower than uh, we'd like due to the small number of people working on it. But um, we have Rio now helping us. So <laughs> hopefully we can, I guess maybe we can finish it in under six months. But We'll try to work as fast as possible on that and um, get the design overall moving. Um, yeah, and speaking of design overhaul, Chavi, um, she developed a design system for us, which is basically a um, it's basically a system containing all the components we need for our redesign and. It won't just be useful for book uh, music brains, but also for book brains and other projects. Um, yeah, you should. Uh, she wrote a blog post, which is very interesting. So you should all read that if you want more info. Um, uh, Rio, he recently. Um, Wrote a initial implementation of genres for music. Very easy. So, <laughs> so something we've been talking about at every summit. So we can have one last thing to talk about. Um, <laughs> um, you, your wish. Yeah, it's, it's now, not, now the thing to talk about is how to make it yeah, better. Yeah, it better. Um, it's it's not technically released yet, but at least we have it now. Um, what else music range related? Um, Sambab, he finished our new solar search, which he's awesome. Yeah, that's he deserves a standing ovation for that. The city standing ovation, um, that's cool. <laughs> so, yeah, that supports like nearly live index updates. Um, it's it's going to be much easier for us to maintain an update in the long run, and I think Zass mentioned how it's like just much um, easier to for him to watch. And it's less painful. Yeah, less painful. <laughs> <laughs> and the live update thing is very, very important for users as well. I've seen yeah. Matt ask questions about why cannot I find my artist? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, have, have you got any? I mean, it should be. Not really. No. You should, you should almost it, 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 have to try really hard to <laughs> catch an update go slow. Do you know what the exact um, time it is for it takes to update something coming? In seconds. Oh, in seconds. That's. The mean time is probably five seconds. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that could probably be reduced if we reduce the polling times. That's <laughs> cool. Mm -hmm. I think we can live with that. Yeah, it's totally fine. Right? And the most important thing is that the website doesn't become unavailable for 30 seconds every 15 minutes. <laughs> Such a huge deal. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, so continue on. Um, it's actually yeah. faster when there are more updates, by the way. Oh, because it bashes them? Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Um, we, we skipped both schema changes in 2018, um, so there are many exciting big ticket items to mention there, but we do have some planned, like, for example, I like to get changes in for the event slash poster art archive. Um, but uh, we also have UI work left from previous year schema changes, so um, we do, I think the next schema change will probably keep light so we can focus on finishing the UI for that. Those but there will also be very big things to come if the yeah. schema has changed already. Mm -hmm. So it's not going to be a boring year, mm -hmm. hopefully. And th those were the alternative track lists and um, 
the dynamic attributes that Ivan was working on. Um, and Ivan also developed a new uh, virtual machine for us. Thank you. Which um, is nice, since I think our old one was probably <laughs> a year old or more. <laughs> That's still yeah. using the old search system, or um, I think the, I think it's still using the old search. Um, it needs some yeah. work too. So that's the last virtual machine with the old search server. Will yeah, because I think the new search isn't really Dockerized yet. Mm -hmm. That's okay. the main issue there. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't finish WS3, but we released a bunch of optimizations to the JSON web service in WS2. So. I think that probably helped with throughput a lot. Um, and I'm not sure if it's on the agenda, but oh, we talked about WS3 yesterday. Yeah, um, and yeah, I think that's a good summary of the major items from Easy Brains in the past year. So we should also say that we've now got uh, two and a half some people working on music brains. Um, it seems about right. I'd like to have, I mean, I'd like to see if we can actually get more energy into that, um, especially doing these long run projects like React. But uh, I, I don't know if we can really make much more of that happen. Ivan? Just want to thank uh, Jeff Sturgis, who worked with us mm -hmm. on the virtual uh, machine. Um, yeah, so he's the one that actually uh, basically built MusicBrains-Docker, which is a community-contributed Dockerization that is good for building virtual machines. And then I started to work on building the virtual machine off of that, and Yvonne has picked it up. And uh, overall, there's, it's, it's literally now, if all the stars are aligned and all the packages, dependencies are working and so forth, you can give one command, walk away for some six hours, and then a virtual machine pops up the other side. Like the amount of things that happen in that chain is rather quite incredible. Because even five years ago, it was really hard for us to imagine, oh, just click a button and install all of the music brands in one go. That was, that was really impossible. So again, we've come a long way with that. Um, who wants to go next? <laughs>